from ABC7. This is Eyewitness News in High Definition. A local urologist says if you suffer from a painful condition, think about the things you eat and drink every day. His theory flies in the face of everything good you've heard about coffee, wine, or hot peppers. One local man who suffered with prostatitis so severe it was nearly debilitating says it all boiled down to his coffee. I would find myself getting up three, four, five, six, seven times a night. When I would drive to work, I would have to be in the right lane knowing that I may need to stop and go to the restroom. Was caffeine the cause of all John McComb's suffering? For 12 years, he dealt with the uncomfortable and embarrassing symptoms of prostatitis. Men of all ages, starting in their 20s, even into their 70s, can have a normal-sized prostate, but one that's inflamed. I had tried uh, almost every medication available. Then John met Dr. Milton Krisiloff at St. John's Health Center. His advice, stop consuming three things, caffeine, alcohol, and spicy food. Dr. Krisiloff's theory is all spelled out in his new book, The Anti-Inflammatory Diet. The concept came to him after he figured out what all his prostatitis patients had in common. People would come in, notice their symptoms were made worse if they had some caffeine or if they had some alcohol. Dr. Krisiloff says reducing inflammation in the body not only helps with conditions like prostatitis, mild rheumatoid arthritis, and heartburn, it can also help with urinary incontinence. The incontinence is related to inflammation in the bladder, the prostate, and in women in the urethra, which is the tube that leaves the bladder. I saw uh, instant res results within one and a half to two weeks. It, it got better and it gets progressively better as time goes by. John says the sacrifice of giving up caffeine, alcohol, and spicy food makes sense for him. If something causes a problem and you keep doing it, it's your fault. You just shouldn't do that. And Dr. Krisiloff believes eating this way could save Americans $40 billion in unnecessary treatment. He also believes reducing inflammation might reduce some men's risk for prostate cancer. His theory, an inflamed prostate leads to cellular changes that could result in cancer. If you want more information on Dr. Krisiloff's book, just log on to our website, abc7.com. Look at the left-hand side for more topics. Pick healthy living from the drop-down menu. And it's important to note, Dr. Krisiloff says this also, none of this has been proven in any double-blind studies, mm -hmm. but he says, you know, it's worth a try. Yeah, it's just right. changing your diet. Yeah. Okay. okay. Have to take medication if possible. Absolutely. Okay. Denise okay. Tudor, thank you very much.